Here we have a triangle ABC and we have a segment BD in this triangle. So angle ADB is 45 degrees. AD equals to CD. And also we have this angle A, which is OBAD, which is X. And the angle DBC is the same measure X. And we ask to find that X. So this is the first in a series of three videos where we're going to discuss this problem. The first two videos, this one and the next one, are going to be talking about geometric solution to this problem. And the third video is going to talk about trigonometry. So the first thing to notice is this angle is 45 degrees. And this is an external angle to triangle DBC. And therefore, this angle equals to the sum of this angle X plus this angle C. Therefore, angle C should be 45 minus X. Now, we can also find this angle, which is going to be 180 minus 45, which is 135 degrees. We can also find this angle via X. But really, that's about it. What we can do with this picture. The rest of it we need to actually do by using some kind of additional geometric constructions. In many cases, when you do geometric constructions, you try to get some kind of equilateral triangles or isosceles triangles where we can get some knowledge about the angles. So how can we do it here? There are multiple ways to make isosceles triangles. One way is if you look at this triangle ABD, the blue triangle, and what we're going to do, we're going to create the same type of triangle above it. Okay? So this green triangle and this blue triangle are congruent to each other. And the side AD is congruent to the side AE. Also notice that the angle A here in the green triangle also should be the same as angle A in the blue triangle, so it's X. Angle E should be 45 degrees. And now if we connect point E and point D, this new triangle EAD will be an isosceles triangle. We know this angle A, which is 2X, so we can easily find angle E and angle D, which should be congruent to each other. Both of them should be 90 minus X. Now if you look at this big angle E, part of it is 45 degrees, whole angle is 90 minus X, therefore this portion is going to be 45 minus X. But now look what's happening. We have triangle BED and triangle BCD. They both share the same side BD and the angles that are Opposite of this side BD, both of them are 45 minus X. They're both congruent. So we have a situation like this. We have two triangles BD and BCD. And we have the side they both share, BD, this side. The angles opposite of this side, angle E and angle C. There's angle E and angle C. They're both 45 minus X. They're congruent. And there's something interesting happening in this situation. And that is... There is a circle that will go through all four points. The point B, point E, point C, and point D. Another thing, if we connect point E and C together, we get a quadrilateral B, E, C, D. And that is a special quadrilateral, something called inscribed quadrilateral. And that quadrilateral has a special property. The property is that the sum of opposite angles should be 180 degrees. So for example, angle E, big angle E, and big angle D together give us 180 degrees. Now if you look at our triangle here, this angle D and angle E should give us 180 degrees. Angle D is 180 minus this 45. It's 135 degrees. And therefore this angle E here should be 45 degrees. And now notice the angle E, big angle E, is 45 plus 45, that is 90 degrees. So triangle AEC is a right triangle. 
but it's not just an arbitrary right triangle. It's a special right triangle. Because notice that the leg AE is half of the hypotenuse AC. And that is something called 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. So it's a triangle that has angles 30, 60, 90 degrees. And in particular, the angle that lays opposite of the side AE, side that is half of the hypotenuse, should be 30 degrees. And the other angle should be 60 degrees. But this angle is 2x. So 2x equals to 60 degrees. And therefore, x equals to 30 degrees. And that is our final answer.